You create the HANA models at the database level, but how do you consume it? You do not want your business or the functional or the leadership team to log into your database and then access those HANA models which you have created. Practically, that is not feasible. In real projects, you can give a T code to your business users or you can build an app or an application which the users can access it using their mobile or, or their handheld devices. There can be multiple ways to consume the HANA models in ABAP. So one of the easiest way is through the view proxies. We can go with the literal meaning of proxy. The literal meaning is the authority to represent someone else. What does that mean? Let me clarify in some more details. The HANA model are created at the database level, but you want to consume it at the application level in the program. So you need to create something at the application level which would be the exact representation of the database models. And when you consume the proxy, indirectly, it will consume the models at the database level. So in the next slides, we will check in details what is a proxy and how we can use it. For now, you just understand that proxy is an SE11 view which we create using ADT, which resides in the application server. But when you consume it, it consumes the HANA models directly in the database. The other way to consume the HANA models is through ADBC. ADBC means ABAP Database Connectivity. So the name itself is very clear. From the ABAP layer, that means from the application layer, you connect to the database layer using this ADBC. Let me tell you this, ADBC is not something which we created with the advent of HANA. ABAP Database Connectivity was there even before the HANA era. I remember in one of my client's project in 2006-2007, I connected my ABAP system to another database system using this ADBC. So in those days, we used the native SQL. So if you are an ABAPer, you could have written something in EXE and EXE and in between you wrote some um, the database coding. So those were like native SQL. So in those programs as well, we used to connect from ABAP to the database and the technology is same, but now we have Christianed it to ADBC. So we do not say we are calling to the another database, but we are saying that we are connecting to the another database using the technology ADBC.